I'm Jen with Cohen, our Cohen Kitchen um, Independent Consultants with Pampered Chef. And we were gonna just go ahead and um, try to throw together a sugar cookie pizza and thought we'd show you our discoveries because we have not done this before. So I made sugar cookie dough uh, a few days ago actually. Um, and we ate all of the all of the cookies already. And so this has been sitting in my fridge. And I was sitting here thinking, what am I gonna do with this? So we, um, our family is huge fans of classic peanut butter and jelly. So fun little fact that I discovered is when you put cookie dough in the refrigerator, it is hard as a rock. It is impossible. So I had some fun um, trying different tools. And this is what I discovered our mini spatula metal so it's nice and durable is how i got it off the edges and then actually it was the mix and chop that i was able to get in here and get it if i can show you and actually soften it up a bit so fun little this is uh for ground beef but today we used it for sugar cookie dough so patrick is going to take this and somehow mold it into a ball on our stone and then um, start using the rolling pin. This is the older one. The newer one is black and white. Um, this is just the old wooden one. I've had it, gosh, probably early 2000s, late 90s. So you can see how durable it is, how long it lasts. Um, so he's going to start working on that. In the meantime, I am going to grab, I'm just going to use the same this is our classic batter bowl. What's wonderful about everything with Pampered Chef is there's so many different uses. What's great about this one is it can go in the oven. So if you are trying to make um, a, a cake, for like a Barbie cake for a little girl's birthday, you can make the cake right in the bowl, throw it in the oven, and then when it comes out, you put the cake upside down, pop the doll, the doll through, and then you've got the dress. Um, so that's just kind of a fun, I know Pampered Chef has a recipe called Baked Alaska, and it uses, um, it uses the bowl, but it doesn't have ice cream, and I just don't understand how you make a Baked Alaska without ice cream. But, like I said, you can use the bowl for baking cakes in, and that's kind of another actual fun fact. So, while he's still working on that, we're taking some softened cream cheese, and I've already pre-measured um, a half a cup of brown sugar and some a quarter cup of peanut butter. Roll in, roll in, roll in. He's not a rolling. man. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of words. So half a teaspoon of vanilla. I have our little half a teaspoon, but I'm just going to do a little bit like that and see how it goes. Um, so that was vanilla. Again, we've got peanut butter, cream cheese, brown sugar, and a little bit of vanilla, and then we're just gonna uh, mix that up a bit. Okay, and that should be pretty good. It, that's looking beautiful. So here we've got our mixture and this is ready for the oven. So we're gonna go ahead and put our sugar cookie crust in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350. We'll bring it out, we're gonna let it cool down and then we're gonna grab our mix and scraper and we're just gonna put our cream cheese peanut butter mixture right over it. And actually as we're as we're doing that, we can be cutting strawberries. So Pat is gonna grab some strawberries that I've already pre-washed. So he's gonna grab some of those, not with a knife, because we're using our Pampered Jet Discoveries. So we're gonna use the Egg Slicer Plus. We actually have, um, we have this guy, and he is really amazing. So I can actually put a lot of different strawberries on it at one time, whereas the other one we can just do one at a time. But for the purpose of this dessert, well, it's going to be our afternoon snack, um, I'm just showing you. So I have really thin, <laughs> really thin um, strawberries here, 
And then, so this is with the egg slicer, and then these are with the, the other cutter, and they're just a little thicker. So I think for this project, for this, we're gonna use, um, we're just gonna use, so I've got the thin, I've got the thick, we're gonna go ahead and use the thin one for this. So another thing that we have going on right now is once these are cut, we're gonna go ahead and put them, these silicone prep bowls. I did not know I was gonna be a fan. I have the little one cup prep bowls that I use for everything. And I was kind of hesitant of why do I need more? First of all, these are three and they all stack. Um, so for our tiny kitchen, it works perfect. And there's a one cup, a two cup, and a three cup. And they just make life easier. When I'm melting butter, I can do it right in here and pour it by melting chocolate. So right now we're cutting strawberries and we're just gonna throw them in the big three cup because just easier to contain them that way and then we can grab them out when we're ready so we'll just keep cutting our strawberries and waiting for our pizza our sugar cookie pizza to come out of the oven We have our cream cheese, peanut butter, topping. We have our strawberries all cut and ready. So now we, all we have to do is wait for our sugar cookie to come out of the oven, cool off a bit, and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so I lied. It's not 10 minutes in the oven. It, the recipe actually said 16 to 18 minutes in the oven. So um, it's been, what, 16 minutes? And the oven just deemed, so we're going to pull this out with our... Our favorite chef oven mitts. <laughs> and we're going to let it uh, sit on the cooling rack for a good 10 minutes. And then, oh, that looks beautiful. And then what the recipe said, uh, this is the tangy apple pizza recipe if you want to look it up. But I was not in the mood for apple. I'm in the mood for peanut butter and jelly. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so after it cools for 10 minutes on the cooling rack, um, we're going to go ahead and take a serrated uh, bread knife and loosen it from the stone a little bit, but then continue to let it cool. And that's when we'll add our cream cheese, peanut butter, and our strawberries. So we'll we'll be back. Hi, guys. Okay, so our cookie has been out of the oven. It's cooled, very cool to the touch. So now we're going to take our cream cheese, peanut butter mixture and slather that on as if it's the marinara. And then our topping will be our strawberries that my dearest husband Patrick already sliced for us uh, using the egg slicer plus. And today I've got skinny scraper and this scoop and spread. This scoop and spreader is, um, it's like a little hidden tool. I'm actually really, really loving it for my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And because we're doing this cookie as a peanut butter jelly cookie, it just Seems fitting. So while he's scooping that out, again, this was just sugar cookie dough. I had made um, some sugar cookies with our summer cookie mold earlier in the week, which I wasn't really sure how they would turn out since I wasn't gonna plan on decorating them. But how cute were they? I had little um, starfish and sand dollars and seashells, and um, they actually came out, they came out of the silicone super easy, and I had a little bowl of just summer fun. So for me, I'm actually, a sea girl, an ocean girl, huh? <laughs> so this is not a summer thing for me. I will make these all year long. All year long. <laughs> and at Christmas time, I will, we have a gingerbread uh, house contest and I'm sure I will have the beach cottage because um, I'm gonna make some gingerbread seashells. Um, so yes, we're just gonna spread this around you guys, this was, I'm just showing you other options and things to do with your sugar cookie. You don't have to just, um, you know, make cutouts with them. Of course, you can use the cute little emoji cutouts. Um, you can make little, little pops um, with pops, popsicle sticks with them. But here we're just doing, I was really in the mood for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So we're making a peanut butter and strawberry as my jelly. Um, dessert so and then yeah we're just gonna start putting these so if I was gonna do this for an event I would take my time for 4th of July it's actually really fun to do it in a square or rectangle 
and then you can do blueberries you know in the in the corner and then rows of your strawberries and bananas and i do take a little bit more time when i'm going to be using this for entertaining but honestly i i just had a craving and so this is really just going to be for us and that's it i will most likely use my pizza cutter will um, break off a piece for you and probably put oh. that as the end picture. So, I mean, that was pretty easy, pretty right? Easy. Yeah. And we've got the peanut butter, we've got the, what I call jelly, the sugar cookie. I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, absolutely. So, thanks for joining us.